two blushing pilgrims. Ready, stand to smooth that rough touch with a... Sweet spiral. Juliet. Sorry, I lost focus. Where are we? We're rehearsing a scene from Romeo and Juliet. Need I remind you it's for 30% of our grade? No need. Our director's been on my back to run lines all week. Shotgun formation. Fake handoff, roll right. Ow! I'm gonna need that skin back. Oh, and uh, speaking of pain, you're sure hooking me up to this microwave is safe? Actually, it's called an electroencephalograph, AKA an EEG. It's used to record the overall electrical activity of the brain. And yes, it's safe. So why am I the one hooked up? Because it's my project. Well, let me give you a hand. Lucas, are you all right? Vaughn, are you all right? I'm fine, but why'd you call me Lucas? I'm Vaughn. And why'd you call me Vaughn? I'm Lucas. <laughs> So my mom drops me at this boarding school. And I'm thinking it's like all the other places I've gone. Students. Teachers. Principal. You know, like normal schools. But it's not. Weird stuff happens here. Really weird stuff. Oh, yeah. And what's this guy doing here? Something's going on and someone's behind it. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it. There's nothing wrong at Blake Holsey High. I don't get it. How could Lucas's brainwaves get transferred into my body? Well, in the normal world, they couldn't, Lucas. I, I mean, Vaughn. Something caused an electronic exchange of our brain activity. Now, I'm guessing it might be the proximity of the massively powerful recurring phenomenon, AKA the black hole. Well, that's certainly possible, but beyond the realm of provable. Hello? Otherwise. Lucas here, in Vaughn's body. So, what do we do? Well, we may be able to understand what happened by recreating the conditions at the moment of the switch. And switch is back? Right after we fixed the EEG, the circuit board was damaged. Cool with me. Check out these pipes. Check out the nice watch. It's also a calculator. Hey, pretty boy, it's time for football practice. I gotta play football. Sweet! Give me the playbook. Uh, Bon, just because you have my body doesn't mean you know how to use it. No offense, but I've seen you throw. Not pretty. Chillax, man. With my brain and your brawn, we can't miss. Chillax? I never say that. Easy, Dr. Science. Leave my boy alone. He's late for practice. I'll be fine. Just give me... Playbook! Dude, let's rock! <laughs> let's rock! Then have my lips the sin that they have took. You better be more convincing for drama class. Maybe if I had a more supportive director. Kidding. Besides, who cares if I stink in front of you, Lucas, and the drama teacher? And Principal Durst. What? Yeah, Principal Durst is coming to watch. She loves Romeo and Juliet. Must be all the kissing. Do I really have to kiss Lucas in this scene? Think about it this way. You're not kissing Lucas, you're kissing Romeo. Second, it's not kissing, it's acting. This is asthma. Press down, metal canister. Breathe in deeply and slowly through your mouth.
cool. That was so easy to read. Hey, books. Hey, Vaughn. Oh, hey, Madison. That better? Yeah, much. Oh. <laughs> Before I forget, I've got something special for you. Okay. Hey, is this some kind of a joke? No. It's an invitation to a party. But if you think the social event of the year is going to be a joke... Pearson, let's go! I'm going to decapitate you, and then I'm going to knock your head off! Hello? I did it. I caught Grumpy. Uh, who are you and what's a Grumpy? Oh, good one, son. I couldn't believe it at first myself. Dad. You should have seen it. That fly we made worked like a charm. Old Grumpy never stood a chance. How many times did Grumpy get away from us last summer? Grumpy's a fish. Five, six? Uh, I lost track. I took a ton of pictures before I threw them back. I'll send them to you. Maybe we'll even see him again when we go to the lake this summer. Assuming he hasn't smartened up enough not to get caught again. Uh, yeah, great. Vaughn, is that really you inside of there? Uh, Dad, I gotta go. Are you okay, Lucas? You sound different. Yeah, fine. Uh, I'll call you back later. Okay. Love you, son. Right. Back at you, Dad. Z just told me. If it's true, what's Vaughn's middle name? Jody. And when's your birthday? June 17th. What is up with you and Madison? None of your business. Okay. Final question. Something Lucas couldn't possibly know. It's third and long. You're on your own 30-yard line. What do you do? Fake handoff, reverse wide, throw long. It is true. Your middle name is Jody. Hey, Lucas, you busy? Say yes, Lucas. Trust me. Come on, we can squeeze in one more rehearsal. Z so didn't tell you guys, did he? Tell us what? Over to you, Vaughn. Vaughn. Two, why? Reverse on three. Or is it? Pearson, what are you doing? Sorry, coach. I'm having trouble with the new play. Just give me a second. Well, have trouble on your own time. Go hit the showers and study your playbook. The rest of you are doing laps courtesy of Mr. Pearson here. Come on, Lucas, concentrate. I know what this is. Then move not while well my prayer's effect I take. Thus from my lips by yours, my sin is purged. You know, this is pretty well written. I look terrible. <laughs> How many times did we get sacked? Oh. I stopped counting after double digits. <sighs> Ouch. What? Vaughn, you have dyslexia, don't you? Yeah, I do. The wiring of my brain for things like reading is different than most people. You could have told me when we switched. I didn't think of it. Out on the football field, everybody thought I was slacking. But I was really trying. Just couldn't learn the new play. It took me a long time to discipline myself to focus when I get new things thrown at me. Well, but you learned to. You beat it. 
I manage it. That's why I have to put a lot of notes in my playbook. It's like a study guide. I have to do the same thing with schoolwork. Most people don't notice. Well, don't worry, man. Your secret's safe. It's not a secret. I just don't want to make a big deal of it with my friends. I'm not ashamed I'm dyslexic. It's a big thing to deal with. So is asthma. <laughs> what did you do to my books? It's been great to be able to read like you. <laughs> so that's what you've been doing all day? Reading? Yeah. <sighs> Your dad called. He caught Grumpy. He did. Well, I got to call him back. Oh, wait. Can't. I'm you. You and your dad go fishing a lot? Yeah. We go every summer. Must be nice. Listen, I think it's time we figure out how to get back. Tell me you're having some luck with that thing. Not yet. Looks like a problem with the circuit board. Professor Z's trying to hunt one down. Well, the good news is I found a German company that can make the replacement circuit board. And the bad news? It'll take three months to get here. Three months? We'll have to fix it ourselves. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? <laughs> oh, there's Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Corinne, shouldn't you direct them to class? It's almost time for their scene. Right. Oh, in my younger days, I once played Juliet to, oh, the most dashing Romeo. Mm. Marvin Lipschitz. Mm. Mm. I wonder where he is now. I should Google him. <laughs> oh, Vaughn, I almost forgot. Your father called. He needs to see you at home. I'll see you. Anon? I think, in order to keep up appearances, Corinne, Vaughn, and I should go to drama class. Excellent thinking, Josie. Principal Durst has her heart set on this performance. What? I always wear lip gloss? What, when I'm acting? <laughs> I don't really have to go over to Victor Pearson's house, do I? Just try to act normal. Mama left the building a long time ago. Dad? This is unbelievable. Construction commenced 11 August. Fiber network installation on schedule. On. Security and communication system installation on schedule. Power grid installation on schedule. You're in schedule. my chair. Oh, Displacing yes, sir. Construction on Father, I, schedule. Dad. Projected Daddy? earliest online date. Are you all right, Vaughn? Seem a little more confused than usual. Jack, no, I'm. I'm I'm chilling. Chilling fine. Nah. Good. Now, sign these. What are they? You don't remember? We spoke of them at great length. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course I remember. It's just a little joke. <laughs> Good one.
Thank you. You can go back to school now. Dad? I was, uh, I was thinking. You know, maybe sometime we go fishing. Fishing? You know what, son? That sounds like a good idea. Let me get back to you on it. There's a faulty relay. The board itself is fried. We need to make a goody board. A hootie board? A homemade circuit board named after Tom Goody, who uh, posted the instructions on the internet. <laughs> it's uh, pretty standard stuff, actually. We have everything we need right here. Step one, we photocopy the pattern from the bottom of the old circuit board. Next, we need material for the new circuit board, something that doesn't conduct electricity. This plastic notebook cover, for instance. We glue aluminum foil to the notebook cover, and then we iron the photocopy onto the foil. The heat of the iron melts the printing from the photocopy onto the foil. Now we soak and remove the paper. The toner is transferred to the foil. We put this into a plastic tray of ferric chloride. This is nasty, dangerous stuff. It's an acid that eats away the parts of the foil that don't have toner on it. So rubber gloves and goggles are a must. And when it's done, we're left with a homemade circuit board. Now all we do is move the parts off the toasted circuit board to uh, this one and wire it up to the EEG machine. Marshall, I think you just aced your midterms. Action. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray. Grant thou less faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not, while my prayer's effect I take. Thus from my lips, by yours, my sin is purged. Josie, Corinne, Lucas, science room, step. <laughs> Lucas? That was so good. That was so very good. I've checked the machine. It's perfectly safe. Now, we need to duplicate the conditions that led to the brainwave switch and hope the results are identical but in reverse. I gotta tell you, it wasn't as good being you as I thought it would be. And it wasn't as bad being you as I thought it would be. Ready? Everyone, keep well clear. Let's do it. Best part about being you? No question. Being popular. You go. Let's see. Best part about being you? Reading. Oh, and uh, kissing Josie was okay. Wait. Got my first kiss? How was I? Well, I think she likes you. You mean she likes you? You're the one she kissed. Yes, but those were your lips doing the work. <laughs> they were, weren't they? 
Hey, what's with the papers your dad asks you to sign? Oh, um, you know, I'm not really sure either. Gets me to sign him every couple months, something about my mom's estate. All right, time to air it out, Lucas. What? Go long. Oh. About what? Romeo and Juliet seen it. It wasn't just acting, it was it was a real kiss. I knew it. But who did you really kiss? Juan or Lucas? I think both. <laughs>